Take me higher than I've ever been before. Um, I quickly want to apologize for my hair in this video. It is extremely hot. I mean, not in here, but it is extremely hot outside. And I don't have my AC on because if I did turn it on, then it would just be too much noise. So I had to turn it off for the sake of this video and as you can see it's not working to my benefit. It is so bad, it is so hot, but I mean just bear with me. It's hair. No one's gonna die. I also want to apologize for the extremely long wait on my channel for a video because as you can probably tell I don't know how long you've been watching my videos and if you're a new subby then hello. Um, I did just, like redecorated everything so like I painted because the white was not cutting it boo it was so bad like who wants a white wall when they're filming and it wasn't even white it was like an off white so I went with gray and um, I kind of want to do a room tour for you guys but I don't know let me know if that is something you would like to see on my channel but thank you guys so much for watching again and don't forget to subscribe alright right, so today I mean I guess you guys already know what I'm bringing you today but I am bringing you a Mac haul if you didn't read the title of this video um, I believe it was called the Moody Blooms. Okay. Um, I believe it was called the Moody Blooms Collection by Mac. You guys know. I mean, I think you would know how obsessed I am with Mac. Mac is just like my number one favorite cosmetic company. And I know, but I honestly love them. We'll just get started um i didn't pick up everything in the collection but i did pick up let me see um six shadows and two blushes I picked up six shadows and two blushes um uh, what was i gonna say i forgot this is the first time that i'm opening it that i'm swatching it and whatnot so i guess we'll just get started and i think i'm gonna start with the shadows so the first one I have is kind of one of the more interesting shades, and it is in the shade Lucky Green. Um, these are actually in the compact, and this one just looks like that. Excuse my nails, I know they're pretty disgusting, but it looks like that. It's like a really nice olivey, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of like a weird color. But it's so beautiful. I don't think I can stress it enough. Like, that is gorgeous. I don't know. It's called Lucky Green. And it's kind of like a St. Patty's Green. I don't know. It's really, really interesting though. Um, I think this is just perfect for the summertime. Because, you know, it is like sort of border neon green. And this is a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. I've actually never heard of that. But, um, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty deep purple. And I know it's not really appropriate for the summertime, but it's so beautiful. And I believe you can pull that off in the summertime. Like, yeah, I honestly, honestly believe that you can pull that off in the summer. This shit I have here is called Deep Fixation. And this one is so beautiful like i haven't even opened it to look at it but just through like the see-through packaging i think it looks gorge like can we take a moment it's really whoa it's really difficult to describe that color but it's so gorgeous it's like a red brick uh shadow with like some purple undertones and they are very very shimmery i don't know they're all i believe they're all velux pearl and frost finishes which is awesome especially for the summer because you do want like a very glowy eye like something very sparkly shimmery so the next shade i have is artistic license and this is also a velux pearl finish um, this one looks like a pinky peach, uh, shade. I 
don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. There's definitely some gold reflex in there, which I actually personally love. It's really pinky, but there's definitely some peach in there. It's so gorge. The next shade I have is another purple shade, but this is actually called Blooming Mad, and this is actually a frost finish, and I think this is the only frost finish I have here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is more of a purple with pink and blue undertones. Um, it's very different. Like, it looks almost like a Lime Crime lipstick in an eyeshadow form. It's really pretty, though. Like, um... It's sort of like a lavender looking shadow, which is perfect for just like a pop of color. These shades are really shades that you can play around with, especially during this time because it is summertime. And what better time to play with bright shadows. The last shadow I have is called Green Room. And this is a satin finish. And it is the only satin finish eyeshadow I have here. This is what it looks like, and I feel like this was sort of like the main attraction of the entire collection. It is something that, like, it's so beautiful, and it's so pigmented. I don't know. I think this just may be my favorite shadow of the entire collection. It's very aquatic and... I don't know, like, it's really, really different, especially for MAC. It's extremely different. That's it right here. Um, it's like a teal, but not teal, green, undertoned shadow. And it's so pigmented. Like, I swatched it, and it does not want to come off of my finger. That's bad. Okay, come off. Oh, no, it's everywhere. And the last two things I have are blushes. And the first blush is a blush that, I'm not going to lie, it's very, very intimidating because it is so bam in your face. It is called Bread for Beauty. Like, can you can you just see it here? Like, that that's intense. Um, I don't know what this swatch is like, but I'm telling you, this is intense, like, in your face. Well, bam. Oh, like... It is a very, very, very hot pink uh, blush shade, and I actually don't own anything like this. Like, oh my god, that is not even Barbie. That I think that's beyond Barbie. Like, this is nearly drag, but I don't want to say that because that's really bad. Um, that's what a swatch is like. I feel like this is something that I'm going to have to use a extremely light hand for. If you are of a darker complexion, I feel like this blush is just so perfect because it is that deep, deep, deep pink that it'll work and suit you so nicely. But for lighter skin tones like myself or, you know, people who are of lighter skin tones, this is something you really do need to use a lighter hand for. The last blush I have is something that I've not been eyeing, but I've been on the hunt for a blush that looks similar to this because I've just, like, it's summertime, I love a bronze cheek. And this is in the shade Worldly, Worldly Wealth. So yes, this is a blush. It is not a contour shade. Well, it's not meant to be a contour shade, but, um... You can definitely use it for that. Like, I can see a lot of lighter tones of uh, complexion girls using this as a bronzer or a contour shade. But this is, like, a perfect blush, blush shade for me. I've been really wanting something that is bronzy and peachy at the same time. And when this collection came out, I was like, I need you. In my life so this is what it looks like swatch it's right up here it as you can see it's like a golden bronze with peach infused powder blush it is perfection I believe I think it's perfection um, 
yeah like i don't think you would even need to bronze up your face or even contour like the blush just does it all in one for you so that's really it for my mac haul this time around and thank you guys for watching so so much don't forget to like comment share and most of all subscribe bye guys And with this video, no, I said that already. <laughs>